Playstation Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. <coughs> in this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the first half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into some headlines. I'm starting to fade. Let me turn the brightness up on me, maybe. Strive to survive. Get ready to embark on an enormous adventure of pint-sized proportions. After being shrunken down at the hands of an evil corporation, you must explore a vast Let's see if I can make myself more clear. I don't think I don't think I do well in white backgrounds. Online cross platform co op with up to three friends or take on the adventure solo. Gather resources to build your base and craft weapons, armor, and tools to improve your chances of survival. Use the tools you craft to force it better. But Might have to go break though. the mysteries of the backyard or build share and play your own creations in playgrounds mode do you have what it takes to make it big in this minuscule world and fend off its creepy crawly inhabitants go big or never go home when grounded launches on the nintendo switch system april 16th a tale of destruction and renewal unfolds in this return to the Ender Lily's world, oh, how sound. this once flourishing country sits atop a wealth of buried magic. Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished. There you go, should be better. Bring about a brighter future. It's quieter than you for sure. It's okay. As long as you can hear him when I'm not talking, we're good. You'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside the homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. Here's your silk song. Beneath the surface became corrupt. They and they turned into anime. Fled upward to escape its reach. But now it's lilac. Power and wealth remained abandoned below. <laughs> Along your journey, you'll battle rampaging homunculi. Upon liberating them, the creations will join you on your adventure, becoming your companions and lending their aid. What awaits Lilac and the homunculi at the end of their journey? Find out when Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist launches on Nintendo Switch this year. It looks pretty chill. It looks like a more casual, in these not so intense. Switch games. Explore an interconnected world of puzzles in this charming adventure. Slide this looks interesting. I actually think it looks cool. <laughs> Everything moves when you move. Solve puzzles by venturing out into the wilderness, helping out the townsfolk, and taking down monsters in handcrafted dungeons. What awaits you on this curious journey of self discovery? The world is yours to solve in A Ranger, a role puzzling adventure sliding onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Guide Elaine, a young prince on a journey to live <coughs> five nations. Another game like Octopath and Live Alive. Customize your troops, form your strategy, then unleash your army on the opposing Zenoiran forces. Your oh, so it's more like Fire Emblem. Planning will turn the tide of war. During battle, you may get to recruit new allies or be faced with difficult decisions. Atlas and Vanillaware present Unicorn Overlord, launching on Nintendo Switch March 8th. A demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Hmm. Originally released on the Nintendo Monster Hunter Nintendo Stories. Nintendo, the first Monster Hunter Stories game returns, now fully voiced and in HD. As a rider, you'll befriend and fight alongside monsters in turn-based combat to confront the black blight that plagues the world. Many familiar monsters from across the series are included. Plus, you can browse artwork and listen to music in the newly added museum. I never actually played any of these. I heard they're really good though. Monster Hunter Stories, soaring onto the Nintendo Switch system this summer. Your day, Yen Sid's mischievous mirror lured Mickey Mouse into his workshop. 
finding the magic paint paintbrush i was gonna say this looked like the paintbrush game creates a mess this is a part three or they're remaking it i used to have like a special controller for this in a magical wasteland inhabited by forgotten and rejected characters the platforming adventure yeah mickey returns in a faithful remake of the beloved classic that's a remake rebrushed explore this unusual dimension using the magic brush to shape the world with he's playing and fantasia music right now isn't it epic hero disney epic nikki rebrushed launches on nintendo switch this year hmm. next please take a look at this atlas more that what is a persona more persona I'm afraid Tokyo experienced its own peculiar occurrence while you were away. I'll be counting on you to gather more intel on the matter. I suspected to be traveling back and forth between Tokyo and the Netherworld. Oh, no, it, it is Shin Megami or whatever it's called. It said Tensai Shin Megami. This game came out, I think, on other consoles long a while back, like a year ago or something. This is number five. Enter or return to this ravaged wasteland and experience an untold story on your adventure. Let's take a look at some more headlines. Get ready to unite and fight in these Nintendo Switch games. Fight in iconic battles from across <laughs> the Star Wars galaxy in this collection of two classic games. Up to 64 players can strike back against familiar faces in massive online battles. This collection includes a Battlefront were good games. It was like the last Star Wars maybe I I played. Plus, battle as your favorite heroes or villains in Hero Assault. Play as Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and more on maps including Death Star and Naboo. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Come on, hey. Come on, brothers. Let's go, Stan. Snow day, everyone. Welcome to South Park. As the new kid. All right, we're on now, new kid. Join Cartman, Stan, and the rest of the gang to save the town in this co-op action game. Choose from a wide range of iconic South Park. This looks good. I can't wait to play this. Customize your character however you'd like. Once you're set, it's time for battle. Take on an avalanche of enemy factions in solo play or online co-op with up to three friends. Grab your gang and head into the fray in South Park Snow Day. Launching on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. It's Snow Day, dude! You gonna play that with me, baby? <laughs> your steel. Next entry in the Sword Art Online series. When the virtual world goes haywire, the past and present collide. <laughs> It's, it'll be on other consoles. You don't have to get it on Switch. I'd probably get it on PS5. To save the world. Experience a whole new single player story or take the battle online with up to 20 players in co-op play. Sword Art Online Fractured Daydream launches hmm. on Nintendo Switch. MMO, it's an MMO Sword Art game. It's finally happening. <laughs> it takes two. It looks like too much fun. It's a good game. I played it with RJ. We didn't finish all the way through, but it's fun. Their parts to build your very own mobile suit model known as Gunpla. Then put your creation to the test in a variety of combat missions. By defeating enemies and acquiring new parts, you can equip more abilities to craft the ultimate Gunpla. Plus, you can show off your builds and snap picks in the new diorama mode. Prepare for battle when Gundam.
Kingdom Breaker 4 launches on Nintendo Switch this year. They had to stop today. It's too much. Oh really? They didn't have they're not having fun with it. Super Monkey Ball series. I thought it was fun. Over 200 brand new stages await with optional motion controls. Using the new spin dash move, you can blast The story feels a little like downer though kind of. I think it's supposed to have like a thing. I thought he just said snap dicks, not picks. <laughs> Monkey Ball is always fun too. I like Monkey Ball. Up to 16 players can battle online as they tilt their way to be the top banana. Be the first to the finish line in race mode. Grab the falling bananas in Banana Hunt. Team up to take down robots in Robot Smash and more. Get ready to roll, tilt, dash, and party in one appealing adventure when super monkey ball banana rumble launches exclusively on the nintendo switch system june 25th pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop. get ready for a good time more lagoon 2 we already seen that trailer for this it's liquidy it's solid me and me and mike play this goo. Stretch it, shape it, and use it to build strategic structures. In this physics-based puzzler, you can build towers, bridges, and even whatever this is. Your goal is to guide as much goo as possible into a vast global pipe distribution network. But where do the pipes lead? Certainly nowhere sinister. Put your imagination to the test as you build, splash, <laughs> explode, destroy, fly, and roll your goo to the goal. You'll encounter different types of goo balls with unique properties. What was uh, what was too much for them? They just like were having issues figuring it out, or like are they not really like the best cooperative team? <laughs> are they yelling at each other or something? <laughs> Exclusive on Nintendo Switch, May 23rd. Destroying relationships takes two. Build a life transcending time. Craft your story 1,000 years in the making in a brand new fantasy life game. This once thriving island in the seas of Bavaria now stands. You know, Chris is looking forward to this. I played one of these. I played a fantasy life. I don't remember which one it was. I think this is actually a brand new one. You'll start out by assuming one of many different It's it's cute. It's not and it's pretty fun to level up the classes. Why not become a miner to collect ore? How about a magician to take down monsters? Or even a carpenter to craft furniture? You can swap between these lives and many more as you rebuild the island. As you travel through time, you'll gradually uncover truths. Every level that apparently is really hard. It's something to do with fish. <laughs> Additionally, up to four players can journey together on Of course they weren't yelling at each other or were. <laughs> to discover the secrets that lie in store. This life is yours to live in. Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time, launching on Nintendo Switch October 10th. It's time to hunt for uh trash? The world these days is dark and mean. Even the water tastes unclean. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside? So far, Monster Hunter stories and fantasy life has been the, the better in South Park. But I'm not gonna put South Park on Switch. Recently had my shell taken away. If you can go get that treasure there, John, about, I'll gladly trade your shell for it. Protect yourself with whatever you can find, from cans to cardboard, during your hunt to reclaim your prized shell. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back. But you'll run into a few crabby predators along the way. Perhaps we can work out a deal, little hermit. That treasure's as good as mine. Use over 60 ability granting shells and harness powerful umami magic to take down enemies in frenetic deep sea combat. Umami? What was that what you said? In the ocean depths? 
<laughs> As they say, one crab's trash is another crab's treasure. Launching on Nintendo Switch mm. April 25th. These all look hella fun. I just want to switch too. Everything looks outdated to me. <laughs> have you dashing, dropping, and drilling. Join Penny and oh, okay. This is the lightning or uh, no. This is yeah. This is the Sonic Mania. Yeah. Dash, it's supposed to be a Sonic like clone. Beast on power ups to activate transformations. Help out the denizens during your acrobatic escapades and put your tricks to the test in a time attack mode. Hope you're ready to yo because Penny's big breakaway launches on Nintendo Switch today. That came out. Is the Switch out this game? I've seen people play this. This seemed boring to me. Switch game. Choose from three modes original. Time limit and attack. Aim for a higher score than your opponent in original mode. Make split second decisions. So far, we haven't gotten any like actual staples. And overwhelm your opponent. No, no Mario. In attack mode. No like Donkey Kong or Metroid. <laughs> These are all like random games. Get battling when this paid DLC for Suica game drops onto the Nintendo Switch system today. A bundle of the game and DLC is also available today. Celeste? Gear up for some thrilling drilling in the 2D action platform. Pepper Grinder. Pepper Grinder. Burrow through terrain. Pulverize enemies in your way. And ride on gnarly vehicles to recover your missing fortune. Pepper Grinder drills its way onto Nintendo Switch March 28th. This actually looks kind of cool. Today on Nintendo eShop. Platformer. Giddy up for a fusion of solitaire and horse racing in this remastered version of Pocket Car Jockey. Solitaire horse racing, what? Take cards to create a sequence of numbers and build up power during a race. Check the positions of other horses, spend power to move around the course, and grab special cards to gain the upper hoof. Win events to get new horses, then breed them to raise the next generation of ideal steeds. You can even race online against other players. It's off to the races in Pocket Car Jockey Ride On, launching on Nintendo Switch today. Okay. <laughs> Tails looking sorrow. Demon Slayer? This is a Mario Party Demon Slayer? Wow. That was Kingdom Come with the Archer. It <laughs> That's gotta be so It can't run that good on Switch. Just no way. That game is like too big. <laughs> it's right to, it's gotta be crap. <laughs> I would never. That almost wraps up this Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. But before we go, we have two more announcements to share. First, it's already almost over. Take a look at this. Very dark. 007. I don't even think that's rare, actually. I don't know what this is. This is multiple games. Okay. I remember that game. Holy shit. That game is really old. <laughs> Adult Toads. Adult Toads was good. Can we actually put Killer Instinct, the SNES version, on there?
these games are available today. You can play them with an active Nintendo Switch Online or Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Next is our last announcement. Please take a look. Absol. No, it's a new game. Okay. <laughs> to explore in an all-new endless ocean game welcome to the veiled sea a location known to very few people this unexplored region changes with each dive offering new things to discover up to 30 players online can plunge into the ocean's depths together Share your discoveries with other divers. I guess it being a, a partner showcase, it was like other developers, not like main ones, right? That's weird. It's one with a bunch of people. There are over 500 different species of marine life to encounter. Some of them are creatures thought to be extinct, and others may be mythical <laughs> what will you find on your undersea journey endless ocean luminous launches on the nintendo switch system may 2nd pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to exploring the vast ocean on Nintendo Switch. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Partner <laughs> Showcase. Thank you for watching. That was kind of like lack lackluster for me. There's a couple games, but not a lot. What's chat say? <laughs> Did they even have a chat on YouTube? Don't even have a, a YouTube chat. There are, there are a few things I would play, but not a whole lot. I don't know. I'm just not really into my Switch that much. So they just released a video. It wasn't even like a live. That's what it was. That's why there was, it was like really hard to find. Okay, well, that's that. Um, I would say for me, South Park, which I would play on different console. Um, what else was in there? This game, this game was kind of cool. I tried this, I don't remember what it was called. Discovery, the world is yours to solve in a ranger. Lilac, Lilac was the, the Hollow Knight like. Did they even have a name? Your adventure, your adventure your, your way. way that's what it was called i tried that i was around her stories maybe one day i'll get into it mickey's was I, I know epic mickey was really good a lot of people liked it i never played it either my sister had it i think it was on the wii south park comes out in that, uh march gundam monkey ball looks cool or the goo not really interested The crab game, eh. I don't know about the crab game. I have to see more. I'm definitely interested in Penny's Big Breakaway, but probably not on Switch. Only because it's made by the Sonic people. 
then the, the the digger game was cool this was random the solitaire horse game i don't know i probably won't probably won't. any of these titles i'm not so sure this i don't really play anything on this nest store that much on the switch and the underwater game i probably won't play but i i think it'd be interesting to see what people do with it overall not too big for me maybe for other people but all right let's play mario 